Okay, so I'm just in a bit of a play around mood. Uh, I've just finished a commission and I've got another one starting soon. So I thought I'm going to do just a muck around abstract on this canvas board. It's 20 inches long and 10 inches wide. I'm going to cover it with titanium white to start and what I'm going to do is use some really colours that I just don't normally use like purple, pink, uh, maybe orange, yellow. I'm just going to do an abstract that's not going to cover the whole canvas but I'm, I'm envisaging some shapes, some mark making, um, some drips and yeah just with some different colours, some nice bright colours. So here we go. This is um, golden titanium white fluid acrylics. And I just want to basically just cover the canvas with that white. And I'm using a red line Princeton brush, three inches. I love these brushes, they cover really well. So I'll just dampen that a bit in some water. And let's go. putting down a few colours on the first layer. I think I'll start with the, um, the brighter colours and I'll add the darks later just so I can try and keep some of this white and transparency. section here because I want this to be a bit of a focal point um, so what I'm going to do is put the purple down it's sort of <laughs> helping itself out the top there in this area and then I'm going to cover it with one of the darks either the Payne's grey or the violet um, sorry, the dioxazine purple, and then I'm going to scratch through it with my pod shapes. I love doing that, and this would be a beautiful colour to show up from underneath. So, just get this on nice and thick. Do then. 
So now I'm using the um, Ara Dioxazine Purple Acrylic and I'm going to place that as a dark over the metallic violet. I want it to be a good dark area for focal point. So I want to, I'm going to have a dark up here and then I'll have one more area of dark to, to draw the eye through the painting. So I just want that on nice and even and thick. Using the catalyst wedge to do that. And now I'm going to use a silicone Oh, actually, no, I'm not. It's one of my dot makers. Um, so I'm just dragging that through the dark paint and make sure you sort of wipe the paint into a paper towel or rag or something each time you move it through. Um, and then I'm just doing some pod shapes, which I tend to do in just about every painting. Um, but they look really effective when you scratch through and have a, a lovely colour coming up from underneath. some yellow shapes to the bottom area there with Ara Arillamide yellow I think it is deep and I want to do some drips so I'm just getting a bit more paint on the brush just to add on that bottom section there and I just want to do some drips from that bottom bit to use a goldy coloured Neo Colour 2 um, soluble wax crayon to make some dots, some little marks. Um, now I dip that in water because it just helps it to be a bit juicier and to make a better mark on the on the canvas there. So every few dots or so you'll see me go off to the right and I'm just dipping it in some water there. So I'll just speed this up here. switching to acrylic inks, um, De La Rowney acrylic inks, and I'm just using my little dot um, stick, <laughs> for the want of a better name. It's just got little balls, metal balls on the end of it, and 
they dip into the ink and make really nice little round dots um, nice and uniform so I'm doing that um, with some different inks now so I'll speed that up while you watch that using some silver um, Pebio acrylic paint to make some bigger um, dots with. So I'm bringing out a bigger tool with the metal round balls on the end and going to go over the silver ones that I made with the Neo Color 2. They didn't, didn't turn out to be that vibrant or that interesting so I decided to use some silver paint instead to go over those dots so that's what I'm doing now. now using um, some gloss medium Give it a little shake so the first one I'm going to put on um, is a acrylic skin an acrylic paint skin that I've just added some leftover paint to my palette um, a paper palette and then covered it with a layer of um, gloss medium and now I can peel it off the paper you have to be very careful because it will stick to itself and you can get air bubbles so it's not as, not as easy as it looks, but let's have a go. And you want to put a layer of gloss medium down where it's going to be, which is sort of all here. And down, out here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use this credit, well it's not a credit card, but like a credit card, um, to try and get the air bubbles out. Just mop up the excess. Now, what's happening here is those Neo colours are coming up, which is okay. Swipe it off. Just try and get all the air bubbles out. Now, just going to put some more gloss medium over the top, I think. Oh no, it's not an air bubble. Feels pretty good, looks pretty good, so let's just go with that. Okay. And just going to use the palette knife just to spread this over. Make sure it's all covered. a bit more under here. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, that's number one. The collages look great and I love the contrast of two dark areas in the sort of the focal regions and the blue and yellow contrasting colours and the pink is really pretty. So what I think it needs or what I feel it needs is some line work and I just remembered that I had this Murasaki Shikibu uh, ink. It's gorgeous. It's a purple ink. I've never used it before so I thought this was the prime project to try it out on. Um, I'm going to use a fine liner brush. This one is an Art Basics Taclon Liner 124, it says. I'm not quite sure what that means, but um, it's a lovely long, fine line brush. So let's see how we go. To the dots again um, using acrylic ink. Uh, I've got a the bigger round bald end out this time um, so making some bigger dots in the gold yellow color um, so I'll speed this up I think there's a lot of dots to come. thinking I'd finish signed the canvas and this color here I just I was thinking of naming it a garden stroll or a garden walk or something like that because of the flowers and the colors that's what it was singing to me but the leaves and the greenery I haven't got and I just really want to hit this with some bright green but I don't want to um, overdo it so I'm just trying to think I think I'm going to do, I've got lots and lots of dots. So I'm just going to make some green marks. 
nice and bright, vibrant. Whoops, this is a new one, so it's leaking just a tad. at least. So as you can see they were bigger, bigger marks now I'm just doing some smaller ones. Big ones. One more, I think. I want to hit this dark area. <laughs> okay, little ones, sort of little ones. Love that color. Again, a color I don't normally use, not too often. Okay, got four, that's even. I gotta go for one more. Okay, I think that's what I needed. I just needed that pop of colour to finish me off. All right, it's now officially finished. So again, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this little fun project for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks from Wendy and Ria's Art. Bye.